It's, it's 6.45 in the morning. Never been more stoked to be alive. Just drinking my coffee. Got Mike here, Michael here. Mike check. Mike check. Michael check, Mike check. What do you got? Oh. What you got over here? The new atomic slings that we're gonna be playing with this afternoon. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> so. All bound up over there. Yeah, we're just gonna sit here like this. And I'm, I'm the comic relief, so. Okay, well, you better be funny. It's gonna be my best Jim from the office impression. <laughs> All right, so we're back. It's not actually 6.45 in the morning, it's actually 8.45 in the morning, but I feel like we should still get some cred for that. Um, and so a concept that I wanna work with here today is slow to fast, or fast to slow. So I put this little shindig up on the wall behind me, uh, which is fast, and then we're gonna work on changing that, minimal changes as always, to being slow. Uh, but at the same level. So a lot of times you'll set this boulder that's the best thing you've ever set, as always, and it just won't work for the round or for the set or for whatever. And it's either too fast or it's too slow and it needs to be this thing. And so being able to tweak things um, so that the situation essentially stays the same, but the speed completely shifts um, from fast to slow or slow to fast, uh, is a really good skill to have. So today we're just gonna enter into the toil of tweaking things from fast to slow, if I can even do the boulder. So, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna boot up and give this one the old try. Give it the old once around. Yeah, and then Michael's gonna do it. Woohoo! <laughs> slow and fast, okay. fast to slow. What is it? Ooh, um, slow is fast, fast is slow, smooth, smooth is, Slow is smooth, smooth, smooth is fast. There you go. Yeah. Done. This one is going to be not slow or smooth, but it will be fast. Perfect. I mean, can you do it better? In my approach shoes. <laughs> Yo, Mike, me. Yeah, there's your four point. Yeah, perfect. That was good. I mean, sometimes you just gotta jump at the thing to know where you're at. Yeah. Yeah, it's like this weird foot shuffle thing. It's quite fast. I had to move quick. Yeah, you gotta move quick and on this wall. Okay, say it with your chest. Oh, Slipped. Cool. Flipping the foot over is nice. So these are the Estupendo Fuegos, I think is what they're called. Big Fuegos. Mm. Email me the big ones. And then these are actually not out yet. A little sneak peek. Yeah, these a little, are a little sneak little peek. Tease. Yeah. These are some of the new loaf holds that we're coming out with to accompany the fiberglass loaves. So basically we're like super psyched on this concept of jibs and macros. Get a little, little close up on that. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah, they're really, really nice. Ooh. We set with these in Vail too for qualifiers. Well, we'll just say they work, you know? <laughs> they rip, you know? They, yeah, they, they go. I mean, have you ever driven a Ferrari? I haven't, but I imagine it's kind of like- <laughs> Like the these old? <laughs> All right, Ferrari. Oh. oh, okay. Let's see if I can do this move now. Ooh. That one's hard. <laughs> that looks insane. Yeah, it's weird. You gotta like press the wall and hit the foot at the same time, also quite fast. And it's, this boulder kind of ramps. So this little jump into shimmy, chimney thing is like, we could call it level three, but then this move out of it's more like level five on a scale of one to six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we lost Michael. 
I guess. Bye, Michael. Boulder wasn't very approachable. I'm gonna try this like jump out one more time. I'll try really hard. Further, who should I try hard for? I was gonna say your unborn child, but that seems a little serious. <laughs> That, that, that's what you want to go with. Do it for Walter. Having a kid tomorrow. Is it actually tomorrow? No, it's on... Saturday? Sunday. Sunday. What's today? Thursday. Oh, we're filming on Thursday. I'm having a kid on Sunday. <laughs> so I'm in great shape. So bad. Cool. It's a weird move. Kind of just uh, go on, get it. Okay, so what do we got here? We got this pullover with the foot, quick foot shuffle, which is nice. And then you're in this stable position, so that's good. It's always nice to have stable positions between your situations. Weird match, and then jump straight up, snatch this hold, palm the wall. Um, pretty cool. How do we make it slow? So the first thing that I look at in making holds slow, I would say there's two things I look at. We want to take away this appealing target hold. Because this is the thing that allows me to jump into this position and hold myself there. The other thing is can I support the feet more? So two things that I'm gonna experiment with increasing the feet and supporting the hands in a way that doesn't make me want to jump at something. So I'm gonna more or less keep these start holds the same. I really like that I can kind of come over and get over. So maybe we add a thumb, increase the foot, and then we'll kind of work on the outro, this last move and turning that slow. But we wanna keep the, um, the level the same. So we said this jump moves like a level three, jump outs like a level five on a scale of six. So we're gonna try and keep those levels the same, but flip the speed. Sound good? Well, it's All a right. rocket. All right, so I kind of pulled this one out earlier expecting that this would be good, but I'm just gonna jib this foot on here. It's a pretty nice foot. I love the smell of burning polyurethane in the morning. Mm. Kind of like napalm. For route setters. For root setters. <laughs> yeah, route setter, root setter, whatever. Put a little middle guy in there too. You really want to suck down them jibs. Got this nice comfy foothold now. Oh yeah, maybe something right there above that T-nut. Because this wall is overhanging, we can do this in real time. Let's see what the angle is. All angle finder. Measure. Level. Fifteen degrees overhanging. So actually probably the most average angle in the world of climbing gyms, mm. maybe even less than 15 degrees. Why is that? Uh, well, on a 15 degree angle with really good assets, you can pretty much do anything. You can simulate slab with big volumes. You can simulate steep climbing. Uh, it's hard to make a slab steep and it's hard to make a steep wall slab. So somewhere in the middle, uh, from a root setting perspective is very nice. Now, if this was like my home wall, like a spray wall, I probably want it to be like, you know, something a little steeper, like 65 degrees overhanging. No, I'd want it to be like 40, 45. But because this is primarily for root setting and playing with movement and kind of like discovery mode, uh, also playing with the holds, 15 degrees is like the ideal angle um, to understand how to best use our holds, but also play with different movement concepts like what we're doing right now. So kind of want to jug for this thunder, mm. thunder stitch. What about this guy? That guy? Yeah. You said it. 
Yeah, that's nice. I also like how these kind of scoop, so I'll be able to like a little pinch kind of it a little bit. Them a little bit underneath. And we could also use my catch hold if this doesn't work, but I do like this one. Okay, where did I say I wanted to go? Right there. In making moves slow, you want to give people usable surface, but you don't want people to necessarily be able to just grab and rip off of stuff. Mm. Like it's got to be kind of wrong. The feet, however, I'm supporting the feet in a pretty major way and then taking away that grip and rip aspect in the hands. So kind of taking away the hands, but adding to the feet. So in general, would you say that good hands advocate for fast movement? I think good hands advocate for pulling, which makes it a lot easier to move fast. Mm. Um, it's kind of like a byproduct of that. Yeah, like you, there's always, um, you can always break that rule. You can have really good holds and make them move, climb slow. Um, but like the, the extreme of the situation is I have two good hands and a terrible foot. What am I going to do? I'm going to campus or I'm going to pull. And most climbers can do that. That's just kind of how we learn how to climb. Um, is we hang board and we campus board and we do pull ups like it's all about this. And it's really fun to start engaging with climbing from like a foot first perspective. Um, these are all dusty. Look at you. Feel so dirty. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> but yeah, this is one of the things that um, when I'm just chatting with root setters or something, looking for some inspiration, um, like set a boulder and don't put any hands on, but set the feet first. Like it's really, really common to spray your handholds and then add the feet. Okay, so flip that, set the feet and use features like this. Like if you look at this boulder, all the feet are macros and then the hands are jibs. And so this is good for fast and slow movement, but when it comes to the slow stuff, the, the hands are all in the wrong direction and the feet are super positive. So let's see if I can move through this. Ooh, it's a little too easy. We might just need to block it. Oh. I really like this step down feeling. Cause this hold's about to get a lot worse. And stepping down was fairly difficult. Damn. Oh. It's like it was shaped for that. It's oh my crazy, Atlanta. Man. That was like a textbook. This is how you block. We, you tried it with the good part, kind of realized it was too good. First try blocker. I mean, these lobes are extremely easy to block. Okay, I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get a little like, this is gonna work feeling. I might add, so you do this, your thumbs or underclinger or whatever, match feet, and then commit to this. And then I think you're still gonna come down to something. Mm. And what this is needs to be, um, needs to be not so good. So for the finish move, do you want left hand finish instead of that right hand can guest on like you Like did? when we huck out to that? Yeah. Uh, By putting first, something down below. Maybe. I haven't, I haven't gotten there yet. Like what I really want is to slowly get into first position mm. or second position. If first position is the start that you kind of climb through this situation, I want to get us here, reevaluate how are we going to slow down that second situation. Is that okay with you, Hunter? Dude, I'm just the cameraman. I don't have opinions. <laughs> just the cameraman? I like that. We're just going to put it here. Impress that? No, I'm going to like, oh, it's bad. Mm. You're not going to want to go to that click. Ow. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it's very bad. It's so bad. It's a blocker or? No, it's just like really quite limit. Come on, Roy. You want it. You need it. Oh, tempted to add something. I mean, this intensity feels really nice. You've slowed them down quite a bit already. It's quite slow. <laughs> like, I'm just sitting here wishing that this wasn't the hold, which is exactly what we want. Um, so I think we maintain that. What I'm struggling with, so I can get up here and match feet, but moving down, it feels like quite difficult. So we could do a couple of things. I think like an easy out would be a little push foot or not a push foot, but like an intermediate foot mm. to match. Maybe come down to this and then drop it down. That could work, but it feels like a little lame to do that. We could also add another hold, but this also somehow feels lame. And so what I think I might want to do straight up is just move this foot up a little higher. Mm. Keep the same movement. Yeah. Just shorten it. Yeah. It's Mr. Safety right there. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this mama, turn it off. Okay. This could be cool. The other thing I'm gonna do, a little working jug. Mm. A working man's jug. Yeah, it's like that. All right. I have a clue. It, it kind of just needs to get shrunk. Mm. It's plenty hard, but like a taller person can keep this start hold and get all the way over to the foot. So I think I'm just gonna shore that up and actually make the start hold worse. This is the first time I've set with these holds, or I guess we set with some of them in Vail, but I didn't have all these sets. Like I did, definitely didn't have this hold and it's, there's a lot. Does it feel like Christmas morning when you get the holds? I just see like, oh, like I, I want to set like 50 boulders, you know? It's like the missing piece for so many things you've wanted in life. Yeah, just like a fresh representation of something that I haven't used in a while, but yeah, it's just really nice. Easy to do it with just the jug. Yeah. And it was quick. Okay, <clears throat> that's like 25% better than what it was. I am a, quite a bit better at jumping. So from a level perspective, feels like we could be close. Come on, Roy. Get it. Okay. This just moves up. Damn. <laughs> that turned out though. What did I do? I got out here, flipped this to a thumb, matched thumbs, started to like drop me, but this was way too low, at least for the level that we're going for. So yeah. Nice. And here we are again. Maybe this. Maybe. Maybe. Low cross. 
If you just cross under and call it a freaking day. Oh, that looks mean. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I I, I kind of like this though. I think we should commit to it. So I'm gonna add more feet. Always the answer. Always the answer. Add more big mega feet. Cause I like that heel hook situation. That was sick. Yeah. Come on, Roy. That's Dude. bonkers. That okay, what if you moved that left hand just up so you gave yourself more room? Am I learning? Yeah, Can I be a route setter? Hand? Yeah. That's what you see? That's what I see. I think you're right. Just give it a little more space. Yeah. Like a little more time too. Yeah. Where'd that mini ladder go? That's so sick. Come on. No way. Come on, Roy. Get it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no text. Oh my goodness. Keep it. Okay. All right. Well, like I said, I just feel more comfortable flying through the air. That feels a bit harder. Yeah. Yeah, but like a different, different type of climber would come up here and find this easier than me doing my jumpy doodle. So I think what I want to do is like, just try it from the dirt. Yeah. Yeah. And see if I can't do, I'm going to strip all the working stuff, all the unnecessaries. Oh man. I'm pretty psyched on this like slow. The super controlled barn door yeah. switch. I would definitely like keep tweaking the end, but for what it's worth, like, we successfully tweaked this, I don't know, however long this video is gonna be, but it wasn't very long. Yeah, it's like 30 minutes we've been out here. Yeah, that we tweaked it from this two jumps, boom, to boom, to like complex 25 moves. <laughs> Let's go, Roy! <laughs> okay. One minute. Yeah. Nice, dude, come on. Oh, oh, too tired, not this time. It's not necessary for me to do everything. And it's not necessary for you to do everything, but we did accomplish the goal. Did all the moves, it's not terrible. I think it's just, what time is it now? 5.30 a.m.? Yeah. Yeah, so we've been out here for like two hours. Um, and yeah, we did it. All the moves go. Maybe a little bit more work as always to like, make it comp ready or set ready or whatever. But um, yeah, hope you liked this episode. Um, keep telling us what you wanna see. Uh, we've heard some of the suggestions that you've had. They're in the works, I promise. And uh, like and subscribe or the opposite of that if you don't want to do those things. Man, I'm like really out of breath. Uh, you know what the nothing... best part is? What? It's not like a thousand effing degrees in here right now. It's not, dude, but like, yeah, it's just talking and climbing, talking man. Talking and climbing, thunder clinging in the AM. There's nothing more exhausting. I don't so, know if we can put that on camera to be quite thund honest. Thunder clang in the AM is my new album coming out. <laughs> so, yeah, let us know what you want to see. Love you. <laughs>